The White Bear Area Chamber of Commerce and On Location TV 19 are proud to present Your Business Matters, dedicated to your business needs. The White Bear Area Chamber is a nonprofit business organization serving as an advocate for the White Bear Area and its business community. Now, here is the Executive Director of the White Bear Area Chamber and the host of Your Business Matters, Tom Snell. Welcome to Your Business Matters, brought to you by the White Bear Area Chamber of Commerce. Each month we interview community leaders and local business owners so you can be informed about the developments in our community. I am pleased to welcome Deb Stender, the Director of Market Fest. Market Fest is a free family festival held in beautiful downtown White Bear Lake. This summer festival runs Thursday evenings from 6 to 9 p.m. from mid-June to the end of July. Market Fest attracts thousands of visitors who are interested in learning more about our lovely, family-friendly atmosphere. Deb, thank you so much for participating in our program today. Appreciate it, Tom. Thank yep. you for having me. Yep. A couple questions I want to ask you. First of all, there are a number of summer activities that happen in downtown White Bear, and Market Fest is one of them. And starting earlier than Market Fest is something called Manitou Days, I understand. I don't think they're the same thing, are they? They're not. They're very intertwined. And in fact, Market Fest, the first Thursday, which is June 16th this right. year, actually kicks off Manitou Days. And so we're very happy to kind of be that start okay. of the summer White Bear Lake activities. Okay. And, and really, what is the uh, what are some of the differences between Manitou Days and Market Fest? Absolutely. Uh, so Market Fest, as, as you mentioned earlier, is seven consecutive Thursday nights in downtown White Bear Lake yep. from 6 to 9, where Manitou Days has many events throughout the community and all over and quite a variety. I would recommend people look at the website sure. and the local restaurants as well have little cards on their tables that outline all of the Manitou Days events. Okay, great. So this is a, all part of a group of summer festivities in downtown White Bear. Correct, yeah. Okay. Now, getting into Market Fest, when did it start and do you have some of the historical background as why uh, they decided to do this uh, venue on a Thursday evening? I do. Uh, this is the 26th year for Market Fest, so quite a longevity. Sure. And the history behind it, it actually started with the Chamber, White Bear Chamber of Commerce having an idea about how can we get more people downtown and noticing our businesses here. And 26 years ago, it started and it's grown ever since. Has it always been where they bring in like uh, the number of people? I mean, this seems to be something that when you start something like that, it would seem to be really a challenge. I mean, you're really taking on something that you don't know if it's going to work or not. Yeah, I agree. I think that that was a huge uh, challenge and, and an opportunity 26 years ago. Uh -huh. You know, not knowing, you know, as in any event when you're doing it for the first time, couple of times uh -huh. you know you never quite know how it's going to go but clearly you know our community has embraced it and it started just on Washington Square where there were just a few vendors and local businesses participating to now where there's over 150 vendors so and it, 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 it really it didn't start as some kind of a massive venue like you have today that no not at all it was you know quite modest and has just grown and grown yeah and approximately how many vendors do you have that participate in Market Fest? Sure. On any given night, we have between 150 and maybe 175 vendors that take up that four-block radius around uh -huh. the downtown area. Most of the vendors do participate the full seven weeks. There are a few sure. that sprinkle in here, yeah, but yep, for the yep. most part, they're there for the full duration. Now, uh, Market Fest isn't just a group of businesses gathering around in downtown White Bear where they have their tables set up. There's more to Market Fest than that, isn't there? There is. Thanks for asking about that, Tom. So in addition to the vendors that set up, we also have a huge activity zone uh, actually sponsored by Snap Fitness of downtown White Bear Lake that includes inflatable bouncy houses, 
obstacle courses, climbing walls, so many activities for the kids. We also boast a wonderful classic car show that is every week as well. And there are usually well over 50 cars that come, all makes models. Um, it's quite wonderful to see. And then there's, uh, is there music? There is. We are so lucky to have two stages of live music each week, and they are just fantastic musicians, performers. Um, most are local and have ties to White Bear Lake, uh -huh. including our intermission acts as well that showcase many of our local business, what they do, their young uh -huh. people, and, and their performances. Now, uh, with Market Fest, too, um, there are a number of people that come into downtown White Bear for this event, right? There are. Yes, we think, no, it's not an exact science, but about four to 5,000 people each Thursday is... is four to 5,000 right. people I'd coming actually into downtown White there Bear. There may be even a little bit more. Wow, that yeah. is really, really... Uh, it's amazing. Something, yeah. Uh, do you know if, um, uh, do people find parking okay, do you know? Yeah, you know, parking can be a little bit challenging because we are taking up kind of the nucleus of our downtown. Mm -hmm. But what I always recommend is if you just drive around kind of the, the, the around the area, the perimeter, there's ample street parking on both sides of 61. Okay. Now, again, getting back to Market Fest, you mentioned you have this car show. Yes. We have some musical entertainment, and then we have the businesses that gather in the uh, main part of downtown White Bear Lake, bringing thousands of people to our community. I think there are other activities involved with Market Fest besides just the car show, right? Yeah, we also each week have what we call our theme weeks, and so typically those take place down 4th Street, and we each week have a variety of activities uh, for mm -hmm. people's interests, um, to name a few. Uh, new this year, I think people will take a big interest in, is we are actually showcasing the downtown businesses in sort of a runway show. It's not necessarily a fashion show, but there will be a red carpet. There will be prizes and seating for people, but many of the downtown businesses okay. will showcase their products up close and personal okay. for people After to see. After break, I want to go into that a little sure. bit more uh, detail. That seems like a very uh, interesting uh, type of event. Do you know if anything happens in Market Fest over by the, uh, uh, for the businesses along the lake area, uh, the marina? Does anything happen there? You know, uh, not so much during Market Fest, but uh -huh. Manitou Days has okay. quite a few activities that happen in that area. So there are activities and that take place during uh, Manitou Days other than the parade. Correct, yes. Okay, that's, uh, that's quite interesting. We are uh, going to take a really quick break, and then I will get back to you for more discussion on what is going on with Market Fest. I want to take a minute here just to urge you to visit the White Bear Area Chamber of Commerce uh, website, and that is www.whitebearchamber.com. For more information about Chamber special events, visit our website, or you can simply call the Chamber office. Our telephone number is area code 651-429-8500. back to our uh, interview questions here. We're talking a little bit about some of the uh, venues that happened during uh, Market Fest. And one of the things you talked about was this, this venue where you're gonna have a 
carpet, a long carpet with people parading on it. Go into that a little bit more. Yeah, if you want. absolutely. So again, you know, the mission of Market Fest is to showcase our downtown businesses. Mm -hmm. And so one idea we had was to have sort of a mock runway, but it, it includes, it's not just a fashion show as some people might think. It's many different businesses showcasing their products for the attendees of the event to see. So uh, who would be walking down this carpet? You said it's not a fashion program. What would it, what would it entail besides just, um, what would it entail? Sure, absolutely. So without giving away all of the secrets, okay, all right. for instance, I all want right. it to be a little bit of a surprise for all people, right. but one really neat thing is, for instance, Grandma's Bakery will be walking down the red carpet and they may have some samples that they might be sharing right. with the audience. No, so, a, a little historical background. It was Grandma's Bakery that produced the world's longest uh, ice cream sundae, I believe, back a few years did, ago. They did, yes, and it was hugely successful. And right. I understand, too, a Guinness Book of World That's Record. That's right, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. in our own town and during Market mm -hmm. Fest. I'm going to get back into our uh, the current one that's coming up uh, uh, just in a, a little over a month from now. But I also wanted to, or less than a month from now, yeah. I also wanted to uh, just address a couple things of some of the highlights in past uh, market fests. Like I said, we mentioned that uh, one of the things that happened a couple years ago in market fest is they produced a ice cream sundae. I think that ran about two blocks long. Yes. And uh, I think it attracted about, what, 8,000 people. At least, yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then former Governor Arnie Carlson was the official uh, judge that indicated that it had broken the Guinness Book of World Records at that time. I believe that's correct. Right. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other information of some of the other highlights that have happened in the past uh, during Market Fest? Sure. Well, most recently, you know, last year was the 25th anniversary okay. of Market Fest. And speaking of cupcakes, too, we had over, I believe it was 38 thousand cupcakes that were given away to the participants last year and it was fun and 25 years. 38,000 cupcakes for what? 3,800. 3,800 cupcakes yeah. for... Uh, to celebrate the 25 years mm -hmm. and we, they were gone I think within 30 minutes. Wow, wow. Now every year there's a theme to Market Fest, I believe. Yeah, this year we are actually working with Manitou Days and sharing the theme of musical bears. And so, again, with the live music and the many activities and events with Manitou Days, many of our events do revolve around music. So uh, when you say uh, the musical bears, does this mean just the bands that you've got playing? Are there other yeah, there's performing artists? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So in addition to the bands that play, as I mentioned, we've got many uh, intermission acts that also have music, whether it's uh, to dance or to actual vocals or uh, musicians and instruments, but too, many of our local establishments also support so many of our artists and performers. Yep. So, you know, we really have a wonderful opportunity in our area to ha see live music almost on a daily basis. And and uh, White Bear, for people that don't know, has the probably the number one um, uh, area for arts, uh, art center, and then also a premier um, venue for the Lakeshore Players, which is the uh, uh, amateur and semi-professional theater group that we have in the area. Is there going to be any involvement from from those yeah, people, do you know? Absolutely. Lakeshore Players, for instance, will be showcasing, they have a group called the Radio Players. Oh, yes. yes. Okay. And uh -huh. they will be showing a snippet of their act during Market Fest. Really? Yes, and we do have that on the website. Uh -huh. um, and so it is a really wonderful act. But it's also, too, if people aren't familiar with that organization, uh -huh. they get a little bit of a glimpse into what this uh, theater does. They do amazing productions. Okay. Now, if you go to the uh, Minnesota State Fair, it costs you like 10 bucks to get into the fair. And, and I or don't think more. there's really a, more than <laughs> yeah. that now. Okay, okay. I, I don't think that there's really a cost for, uh, for uh, people going to Market Fest, is there? There's not. It is a free admission, so anybody is welcome. And it's really all demographics of people that come to this event. 
Wow, so it's it's free and it uh, people can come from free wherever. music, yeah. Yeah. So I a couple other things I wanted to ask you about. Now you mentioned that there are thousands of people that come every uh, Thursday evening. Uh, are there would there be a, uh, I would imagine that there's a lot of interest from local businesses that might want to take part in the venue and activities of Market Fest, that might want to, uh, for example, have a booth to showcase their, their company. So I've got two parts to this question. Sure. Uh, number one, uh, are the booths open to any kind of business or are you looking for specific types of vendors to show their products and services in downtown White Bear. Sure. And either, by the way, either one is fine. I just wanted to. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we do we do jury our applicants by okay. our Market Fest committee because we do like to make sure that we have a variety. We like to showcase our yep. downtown and our White Bear businesses first and foremost, mm -hmm. and we try to avoid duplicates so sure. that there is you know a variety and differences. But I do hope you have vendors. duplicates of, of people that have food. Oh. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> and the food is fantastic. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. I yeah. think we have over forty vendors. Of Good. Different you have over foods. forty food vendors, so yeah. you don't have to worry about yes. having dinner that night. In addition to right, our our White Bear downtown restaurants uh -huh. as well. No, I would I would recommend planning on dinner. Yeah. Okay. All right. Dinner there. At, yes. At Market okay. Fest. All right. Now, uh, getting back to the booths. So you have these thousands of people that come in. You know, there might be interest, um, let's look at 2017 first. Sure. There might be some interest for somebody in wanting to uh, have a booth downtown if they can reach thousands of people. Absolutely. So I want to ask number one, let's say if it's too late this year for somebody, uh, I guess it would make sense for maybe a business person to at least walk through there to see if it might be a good fit for their their company, right? Absolutely. I think that I would encourage that. And if they had any questions or wanted any assistance with that, they can certainly reach out to either one of us. And okay, be all right. Happy, yep. happy yep. to walk them through. Now, um, for booths, are there any, uh, can I ask, uh, there's just a small investment for the booths, yes, right? Yes, there, there is a fee uh, yep. to attend each week, and it does depend on what type of vendor you okay, are and whether right. you're a white bear business or not. There's tiered pricing. Uh huh. And you have nonprofits that have booths there, we so people can learn about maybe volunteer activities that are around the area. Absolutely. We have quite a few nonprofits that participate. Wonderful. The school district? Absolutely. The YMCA? YMCA, you bet. Okay, great. The Historic so got a lot Society, of yes, absolutely. On. Okay, now on, on Market Fest too, so if somebody w wants to have a booth, how would they go about uh, connecting with someone for that? Absolutely. My recommendation would be to visit the Market Fest website, uh -huh. which is marketfest.org, sure. and there is a vendor application available there. We are near capacity this year, but we typically have those applications available for the current year the January of that year. So, for instance, okay, you'd so, ask about 2017. Okay, so, so look for So January. somebody planning on it might just want to take a minute to, uh, or take a little bit of time to walk through to see if it would be something that would fit for them. But for this year, it's pretty well filled up. Is that correct? It is. Yeah. I mean, that's amazing to think that you've got well over uh, like 150 semi uh, businesses that are going to be uh, doing things at Market Fest, and it's, a, and it's a, a, a wide variety, something that would be of use and interest to everybody that would come downtown. Correct, correct. Yeah, that's, that's great. Now, I wanted just to real quickly ask you, just very quickly before we end here, uh, you, is this a, a volunteer effort, uh, the people that put this together? Yes, for the most part, it really so is. For you, the so, staff person, but I mean, you have like a volunteer committee. We do. And, we have the Market Fest committee, and we also work very closely with our Main Street group of businesses. And those as are well. the businesses in downtown White Bear, right? That's right. right. Yes, yeah. and so they help advise and create the direction for this particular event. Oh, wonderful! Well, really, it was a, a pleasure uh, talking to you today, uh, Deb, and I wish you the best at uh, Market Fest. I know the Chamber's going to have a booth there, so thank you very much. Thank uh, you. I'm Tom Snell. Thank you for watching 
your business matters. Thanks, Tom. You've been watching Your Business Matters. For more information on this program or the White Bear Area Chamber, visit whitebearchamber.com or call 651-429-8593.